Hey guys, come on in, come on in. Join me and I have my 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 friend over here, my pastor, my husband, Pastor Marcus Scott. And um, I just wanted to come on live. I did a post earlier uh, from Good Things with Lady T. And I, I usually never do this, like, you know, just the live thing. But this is just so um, strong on my heart about forgiveness. And the only reason why it is because I had to learn how to forgive. Yeah, we all do. The, the savest of the savest people have to learn how to forgive. And it's a hard thing. But Amen. if you don't let it go, it's going to let you go. Amen. It's going it's, to, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, it's one of those things. And for us, being in ministry and... You know, family life, and you know, just, just dealing with people. Um, hey, hey, cousin. Y'all yeah, come on in, come on in. Hey, Ebony, how are you? Just dealing with people. Marcus, good to see you. Different personalities and all of the stuff in ministry and church and man. Amen. You know, there's definitely um, an opportunity to be offended. You know. The more people that you deal with, the more people that you encounter, the opportunity uh, to be offended and the opportunity uh, to hurt and to be hurt mm -hmm. uh, greatly increases. Mm -hmm. uh, and so knowing how to navigate in and out of relationships and, and to understand forgiveness and the power of it is very important. Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and, and, you know, act like we haven't hurt people or, you know, saying that. I didn't need to be forgive, you know, yeah. and it's like you said, sometimes <clears throat> it's not intentionally trying to hurt people. You know, you may have said something to somebody, you may have said something to somebody that was right, but it wasn't at the right time or whatever, you know, um, and you said it to them and they couldn't take it or they was offended and they walked around in the fence or whatever. And I, I, I've been there. Like I said, I've been there. That's why I can talk about it. You walk around and you, you offended because they hurt you and they don't even know that they hurt you. They don't even know it. So you're offended and you're, you can't even really like, even like now is like the more that I go into uh, life, I'm 40 years old, um, learning how to release that stuff. And it's like, now you can minister to somebody else. You can help somebody else get free. You can help somebody else be free, you know? Amen. And so it's like, once you release all of that stuff out of your heart, it's like, oh my God, you just feel so free. Right. It's right. a freedom. It is a freedom. It's a freedom. So guys, come on in, like, tag, and share. Um, tag somebody. Share this on your uh, on your page because we want to talk about it. Because I think unforgiveness is is a. We talk about COVID being a pandemic. I really think, especially amongst those that are in the church, yes, sir. Um, unforgiveness is 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 a very pan. It's a strong pandemic. It's a sickness. Mm -hmm. um, the Bible tells us. Uh, in the 24th chapter of Matthew that in the last days uh, that, that many would be offended and many would hurt one another and betray one another and, 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 and he says and because iniquity has a bound the love of many would wax cold now when he said the love of many would wax cold he, he's not talking about the world right. because the world has never had that love mm -hmm. he's talking about those that have experienced the agape of God mm -hmm. and, and, and it is offense that causes our love mm -hmm. to go grow cold toward one another mm -hmm. and that offense guys is it comes through the the willingness or the unwillingness to extend forgiveness grace. to somebody yes, yes that grace of forgiveness to someone else and, and 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 come on let's be honest we talk about it we 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 preach about it we shout about it we, you know but how many of us can truly say that at all times of our life we have always mastered the art of forgiveness. Yeah. Saying you forgive somebody and truly forgiving them is a whole new different thing. Mm -hmm. Because you can say you forgive somebody mm -hmm. because it sounds real spiritual, mm -hmm. it sounds real deep, mm -hmm. or, you know, or if I have hurt anybody or if I have offended somebody, I am yeah. so sorry yes. and, you know, and, and I love everybody. In or the I church. forgive, but I won't forget it. Yeah. So it's like you, you have, you're putting that person on like, okay, I forgive you, but yeah. I, I don't want to forgive it. Yeah, it's yeah, like, okay, yeah, yeah. You still, They're on parole. Right, you're still holding on to it. 
and, and, and this is the thing. What if God did us like that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Bless you, Evangelist Hodge. God bless you. You know, what, what if God put us on parole? Mm -hmm. What if God put us on parole pending, uh, 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 if we do one more thing, yes. then, then he's going to throw everything on us, you know. Uh, part of the New Testament plan of salvation is that when we come into forgiveness, when we come into uh, salvation and ask for forgiveness, when he forgives us, he has forgiven us and he has wiped the slate clean. Right. And then also, if you don't, Bitterness sets in. Come on. So baby. many other things set in. Yeah. And it's like, man, y'all just don't know. <laughs> when when I say I'm free, come on. I am so free. Like, woo. I mean, I can sit here and cry. Like, like, man, like, you know, just stuff that you get hurt through and you know, with people and stuff, you know, which, you know, is one of those things. It's one of those things of life is like, wow, but you but you but I but I got over it. And so can you. Yeah. You can do it. And the hurt is real, guys. Mm -hmm. And so so we're not here to be fake and phony mm -hmm. and minimize, you know, yeah. the hurt. Okay? Forgiveness is not acting like you were never hurt. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, so put that away. Because the false things that people put out about forgiveness, like... When somebody does you wrong, just act like it did hurt you, and like oh, and they say you know if I hurt you, and and, and we be like well you know everything goes okay, I'm okay. No, no it's not, not okay. No, it's not. Everything no. is not okay. Communicate it. Talk, Communicate talk, it. talk about it. I'm Let it out. Hurt. Yeah, I'm broken, and it was something that you said yes. or you did yes. that, that, or maybe it is something that I understood mm -hmm. or and misunderstood. Yes. You know, and a lot of times it can be somebody that's close to you. Come on. Family or your best friend. Like sometimes it can be somebody that you didn't think that it would come from, but it does. It happens. It happens. And truth of the matter is, Lady T, the, the, the closer mm -hmm. you are, the closer you are with somebody, uh, uh, then the, the, the greater the ability to be a hurt. Yes. You, you get what I'm saying? The closer you, when, when you love somebody, when you're in close relationship with like family, or a close friends, uh, the ability to get offended really triples. When you don't know somebody, when you don't have a relationship, it, I, don't, it don't bother you. It don't bother. It's I could care less what you yeah, think about it's me. It's not even on your heart. Like your heart don't, you know, it don't bleed. It don't. Right. Yeah, so you don't. Right. You only really respond to that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's that you don't. Right. You don't have anything in right. But usually, hurt comes yes. when you have when when someone that that you have skin invested in the game. Come on, somebody. Yes. You have skin and you have time. You have resources. You have uh, love. You know, you have given of yourself to, to, to individuals. And, and for whatever reason, they turn around and, 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 and mistake whatever you do. That hurts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, 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 and you can walk around all day long and act like it didn't hurt. But, baby, mm -hmm. it hurts. It hurts. But at the end of the day, I choose to be free. I'm going to say you like my aunt always told me, my aunt Ruth. She, uh, I think she died at like 80 something years old. About 81, but I believe. One, one thing about her, uh, she didn't keep nothing in. She would tell you how she felt. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times people are having heart attacks. They're dying. They're unhealthy. They, because they won't release stuff that's on them. They won't release stuff that's in their heart. And it's an appropriate way that you do those things. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But get it off of you. My Uncle Ronnie, who is, who is dead now, you know, saying rest in peace, Uncle Ronnie. He always told, he told me this as a little girl. He said, "It's not the way they respond, but you get it off of you. Get it off of you. Don't worry about how they respond. If they don't forgive you, that's on them. But get it off of you. That's get right. it off of you, and you'll be free." That's right. And see, you have to be able to relate with the offended, and you have to be mm -hmm. able to relate with the offender, because we have both been the offended and we have been the offender and a lot of times we always like to play this narrative in our mind like we're the victim and the other person has done us wrong and they're wrong and they're wrong and it's them and they did and they did but the truth of the matter is some things we have done wrong yes, come sir. on let's yes. be honest do i have any honest people that's on this live today yes. that can say uh, uh pastor scott mm -hmm. i have been uh, the one that have done mm -hmm. a person wrong i've right. done something wrong i've spoken out of turn yes. I I've allowed my emotions to get the better of yes. me. I've look, I've misunderstood a situation right. and I reacted instead of uh, trying to be proactive. Come on, somebody. And, 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 and you know, 
A lot of times when you go after somebody with the victim mentality, yes, you're always wanting to. somebody to come to and, 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 and make it right with you yeah. without you realizing, the, hey, what, mate, did I do? Like, what did I do? And, like step back and analyze yourself. Like look at yourself. Check yourself out. Come on. Like check your heart. Come check on. and see. You know what I'm saying? Just check it out. In marriage relationships, yes. I have to, you know, being being a man and, and then coming from, from the male-centered, mm -hmm. you know, background I've come from, we've always thought about, you know, since we're the head, we're the leaders that kind of give us the right to yes. talk and do like yes. we want to do. But the truth of the matter is, brothers, when, when you get a negative response from your wife, mm -hmm. it's usually because you sold a negative response to her. And, and, and so you have to be willing to say, you know, I didn't do that right. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that right. Or, 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 or sometimes in your mind, you're thinking, well, I did this and I did that, but I didn't do that. Sometimes you, it, it, it would help you to sit down, close your mouth, and listen to how the individual perceived what you said and what you done. Because a lot of times, it's not always what you thought you done. Yeah. Sometimes it's what somebody perceived that you done. Mm -hmm. and, and so when it comes to per, uh, 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 offenses mm -hmm. and forgiveness, perception is everything are y'all hearing what i'm saying perception is everything yes. you know and, and 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 so if a person is offended with you yes. by what they perceive that you did mm -hmm. if you love them depending mm -hmm. on how much you value because mm -hmm. see forgiveness and restoration is 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 about how much you value the relationship mm -hmm. do you value the relationship over being seen as right all the time right. sometimes we, we we see ourselves as right we yes. want to be the right one i'm what the one that did it i'm the right one but my question to you is how much do you value relationship mm -hmm. And so in valuing the relationship, that means sometimes you have to be the one to say, you know what, mm -hmm. I really don't see it, but you know what? I'm wrong yeah, I'm and right. I'll be wrong mm -hmm. and I'll take the low side mm -hmm. and I'll be the one and I'll be the recipient of whatever because I want this relationship to, to be restored. Yes, restored. You yeah. know, so so forgiveness is a two way street, mm -hmm. you know, and, and 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 this is the thing. One of the reasons why it is so important to forgive is that we are the recipients of forgiveness because mm -hmm. the truth of the matter is who in here can say that we have never wronged god we have done more wrong to god mm -hmm. than praise and i'm talking about this after uh before we were saved but since we've been saved we've done things that we shouldn't have done we've said things that we shouldn't have said yes. we behave in, in manners that we shouldn't have behaved in and so we have to go to God for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And he sent his only son to die for a bunch of guilty people. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. You know, hi, my name is Marcus Scott, and I am jacked up. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. Hi, my name is Marcus Scott. I didn't say pastor, mm -hmm. elder, apostle, minister, deacon. No, my name is Marcus Scott, and I am jacked up. Mm -hmm. And I am a recipient of the forgiveness of God. Right. And since he forgave me, that means that I, praise the Lord, am responsible to forgive those mm -hmm. that did wrong against me. And notice this, you cannot have adequate power with God if you don't walk in a place of forgiveness. Right. Your power will be cut short if you are walking around offended. Right. And most people, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to let Lady T talk because I, I, I can talk. Most people are walking around in the church gifted. They know how to sing because they're gifted. They know how to preach because they're gifted. They, they can even heal the sick because they're gifted. So, so, so the power is working because they're gifted, but they're not walking in love. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so you're not going to produce, amen, what you say. You're going to produce what you are. So even though you've got the miracles, the signs, and the wonders, hear what I'm saying? What you are producing is a bunch of Praise the Lord. Offended people. Come on, somebody. What you have is a bunch of offended people. You're producing them. Even though people see the signs, the miracles, and the wonders, you got a prophetic word. You can speak into their heart. But everybody around you is mad, cussing folk out, ain't living nothing, fighting, and going around in the church because you may have power, but you're producing what you are. Yeah. And what you are is an offended person. Oh my gosh. Good God Almighty. And that offended person, that type of spirit is spread. Woo! Good God Almighty. If you connect with somebody else, 
then that it, it spreads. It spreads. It spreads. It spreads. And 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 you're bitter. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about, ladies, team, mm -hmm. a root yes. of bitterness. Yes. Amen. A root of bitterness is bitterness that is deeply rooted. Yeah. And when something is deeply rooted, it can hide for a long time. We can smile, mm -hmm. we can laugh, we can talk, but if there's a root of bitterness in me, all it's going to take is one tight situation and everything, the floodgates come in, the floodgate, and then you begin to see exactly, mm -hmm. praise the Lord, how somebody, so it's not the nice things mm -hmm. or the nice times that show you how a person feels, it's when it gets really tight. Yes. And also what comes out of that is jealousy. Come on, baby. I'm sorry. Je that's, a, that's a whole nother subject. But jealousy. Jealousy. And then when somebody can see, when you have somebody that can actually see spirits and see stuff, we see it. So see it's it. like all that stuff is working. It's all that stuff is working. Get it out. Get it out your heart. Get it out. Jealousy. Bitterness. All of that. Let's work on that stuff. Get it out. Amen. Let's get along. And I'm not saying that. We're going to be lovey-dovey again, you know what I'm saying? And that may never happen. Yep. But at least, you know what I'm saying, we forgave and, and we're moving on. And can I Let's move on. Can I interject and mm -hmm. say this? Forgiving you doesn't always mean that the relationship is always going to be restored. Correct. Correct. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. Say it. Forgiving you does not always mean that the particular relationship mm -hmm. as it was will always be restored. Right. I can forgive you, and, 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 and let me tell you why. The Bible says don't be unequally yoked, mm -hmm. okay? And, and that's not just with a believer, with an unbeliever. Sometimes you have grown and your destiny has pulled you to another level, yes. and maybe the individual that you had conflict with is still in the same place where they were. Mm -hmm. Well, it would not be wise for you to connect and hook up with the relationship as it was. Amen. So I can forgive you and you can forgive me, and we don't necessarily have to become bosom buddies. Yes. You, you, you understand? Yes. So, so, so don't let people hang uh, 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 reconnecting with you mm -hmm. over your head as a, yes. a term of forgiveness, yes. Yes. especially if maybe you've forgiven them, mm -hmm. but they're still continuing in a lot of their uh, uh, toxic ways. Mm -hmm. Sometimes part of that forgiveness and the walking forgiveness is you have to let them go. Mm -hmm. And letting a person go does not mean that you have been unforgiven to them. Letting them go means, you know what, guys, I, I need to be free. I need to be free to serve God. And so part of that is I need to forgive you. But I know that the Bible says, how can two walk together except to be in agreement? Yeah. So th what that lets you know is I don't have to uh, 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 be in agreement with you mm -hmm. to forgive you. Mm -hmm. And then also you in like a different whole stage of life sometimes. Come on, T. And it's like you can't take, they're not mature enough to go with you in this next. Come on. Come on. So leave like the like we talked about lot. Leave the lots behind. Come leave, on. Leave all that. Leave oh, you've been anointed leave, to I say mean, goodbye. You love them. You love them. I'm telling you, you love you love these people. But if you like, if you, if you don't want to stay in the wilderness, if you don't want to stay there, you better learn to let them go. Yep. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Because people are living rent-free yeah. in your mind. They They're are. living rent-free in yeah. your heart. And part of moving into your new, y'all hear us talk mm -hmm. about new? Yeah. You know, part of uh, part of new is forgiving mm -hmm. and letting it go. Yep. Letting that wilderness experience go. Yep. You know what? You didn't recognize me. You know what? You didn't uh, 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 give me what was due my name. You hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I forgive you and I'm letting it go. You know, and, and, and that's even... Uh, beloved, if they say they're sorry or yeah. if they don't say they're sorry. And let me tell you something else that I, that I experienced. Come on. So here we go. We get this. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just telling you a little bit of our testimony. For 20 years, we worked hard, you know, saying ministry with the help of God. 11 kids. We stayed in a three bedroom house. 1,016 square foot. Three bedroom, two bath house. We struggled. Struggled. My husband, struggle. <laughs> my husband, you can just take the S out of struggle. <laughs> we struggle. We struggle. <laughs> my husband worked Krispy Kreme for 18 years. Um, he, uh, he preached. I mean, we just did so much. And I'm not bragging on our, us because it's never us. It's ne never about us. Amen. But it was for the people, you know what I'm saying? And he would take his paycheck and, you know, he would throw it into the church. Um. So I had to go around, you know what I'm saying, and make sure that I go to the thrift store to get clothes for the children. I'm just telling you some of my experience. I would go to church and, you know, everybody be 
uh, getting all this new stuff and doing all this stuff. And, you know, I, I'm happy for them because, you know, that's just me. I'm, I'm going to make my stuff shine. I'm going to make my stuff look good. You know what I'm saying? Because I was I was, I was, was happy and, you know what I'm saying? I was happy with my husband. You know what I'm saying? It, it, was, it was not about me. It was about me helping support him in the ministry. It was about putting God first. And y'all, so she, she, she supported me now. So now, y'all. Now we in a, um, like I said, 3,500 square foot house, six bedrooms. Um, I mean, it's crazy. It's like, it's like, but, but then back then, and it's to now where I'm at now, it's like, now it's like the people, it's like they wanted us to struggle. And it's like, now I see it's like, people are just, I don't, I can't really explain it, but, but even in that, I know how to let, let them go. It's like they, they was happy seeing us struggling. But now that we're we're we in our new, it's like they just can't take it. But it's okay. It's okay because I'm going to live. Yep. I'm, a, I, I'm 40 years old. I done raised my kids. They, I got three in college. I got, you know, and I'm still, of course, raising some of them now. But it's like I'm living. I'm, a, I'm going to live. I'm going to live. And, 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 and I owe nobody no apology. Nope. I don't owe no, nobody nothing. Not for living. I don't owe nobody nope. nothing. So nope. that, that's that's where I'm at. Where I'm at in life. If you see me, I'm free. Amen. And that's how you have to be, guys. You have to live free. Paul said this. He says, "Here then do I exercise myself to be free, Amen, from the offense of God and man." And that's the way you live. That's mm -hmm. the way you live. And and so let me let me give you these these few little points. If there is somebody that you need to make mm -hmm. things right with, go to them and to them alone. Let's become mature. You know, when you start getting in your late 30s, your 40s, and, and, and some people 50s, you're too, you too old yes. to, to, to be being childish. Right. You're too old to be walking around here, you know, thinking that somebody, you know, might yeah, hate yeah. you or thinking that yeah. somebody might have yeah. you. That, right. Listen, in other old. words, don't, don't be trying to go around trying to find some, some trouble or trying to find some uh, uh, some way to get offended. I'm not trying to find that. I, I want to be free. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want nothing holding me down or whatever. I'm not trying to find that. That's correct. So when you so 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 what you have to do when you're a big man, when you're a grown man, when you're a grown woman and there's something that's not right, then you go to that person. Mm -hmm. If listen to me, if you're talking to everybody about the offense yes. of that person. Other than that person. Yeah. Other than that person, mm -hmm. you're wrong. You're wrong. I don't care if the person even really did the things that you think Correct. or said that they did. Yep. If you're talking about that person to everybody, every yes. Tom and Harry, yes. and you have not talked to that person, mm -hmm. you you brother, you sister are wrong. You're the troublemaker. You're the troublemaker. You're the maker. troublemaker. And you need to get your heart right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you need to go to that person. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, Ed, go to him mm -hmm. and him alone mm -hmm. and straighten it out. It don't matter how old you are. Nope. It, it don't matter. That don't, that don't even matter. Age don't matter. Mm -mm. It Age doesn't matter. And and I think sometimes we, 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 we get it twisted that because we are in a position of authority mm -hmm. or because we're older. Sometimes I found myself having to go to my children mm -hmm. and say, hey, hey, I didn't I did do that. Wrong. I remember one yep. time Marcus was backing out of the yard and he wasn't listening to us. My wife honked the horn and this boy back into my at that point at that time, my new. Chrysler 300, yes. my new <laughs> Chrysler. He backed into yes. it because he wasn't listening. I got out of my car. <laughs> I got out of my car uh -huh. and went and thumped that boy in the head. Yes. And he was a whole, what, 18, 19, 19. years old. Uh -huh. yeah, and he, you know, he wasn't, because if he had a move, it was going to be on. Mm -hmm. But I thumped him in the head. And, and, you know, my wife, she just sitting there looking at me like, <laughs> oh, my God, pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I was angry. Yeah. And 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 once I cooled off, I had to go to Marcus and say, "Hey bud, you know what? You know, you should have listened, mm -hmm. but I was wrong for that. I was wrong for allowing mm -hmm. my anger to get uh, please forgive me." Mm -hmm. It's so 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 uh, you parents, you stop doing wrong things to your children or, or being or being uh unequitable to them and yes. then because you the parent you, you act like, well, I'm the mama, I'm uh -huh. the daddy, and you got to, that's wrong, mm -hmm. wrong. God is a God of equality. When you do wrong, whether it's your child, whether it's if you're a pastor and people are under you, if you do wrong, say I'm sorry, mm -hmm. say I'm wrong, and do and do right. Yeah. I, 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 I'm going to end with this, and I'm going to hush, and Lady <laughs> T can close us out, because I feel good. Yeah. We have went through a season in our life, mm -hmm. and I... um. 
in my heart and in my mind, I felt like I was over people. I yeah. was over what had went through, what we had gone through. I mean, I believe about 30 people had walked out of our <laughs> church at one time and just left us, yeah. you know, and, and that, that, as a pastor, that hurts. Oh, yeah. That hurts, you know, for whatever the reason, it, it really hurts. Mm -hmm. And so I thought I was good. I thought everything was well. Because, you know, when you love people like we love people, I mean, we have bought cars for people. We have helped people stay in their houses. And, 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 and I'm talking about even to the detriment where maybe, Lady T, you and I would not have mm -hmm. to try to make sure that our members had. Correct. You, correct. Right? Yes, sir. I mean, I remember, like, some nights we didn't even have gas in our car. Or papers. And raise an offering, and the offering would be like 5 or $10. Yep. You had to give it to somebody And somebody else. would come and say, Pastor, I need gas yes. to get to work tomorrow. Yes. And I and my wife needed pampers, yes. but I gave them the gas. Yes. God made a way for us. But that's kind of how we loved people yeah. and just gave through. And still do today. And yeah, yep, yep our heart our heart is in that position. Yes. And and so for people to leave you and to treat you like you never done anything yeah. for them, you know, or they put you on blast right. in public. Right. But then in private, then they want to come and say, yeah. you know, Pastor, you know, you've been a real good father uh -huh. to me. And uh -huh. you know, that listen, that, you know. So I I was hurt, but I felt like I was good. But they had the nerve. And so I'm going to tell you what happened. Mm. I'm going to tell you what happened. God will allow situations to come to expose your heart. Mm -hmm. Thank God for situations. Amen, preacher. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for situations that will expose your heart. Mm -hmm. We went uh, to to a, a particular place, and we were celebrating somebody's uh, child's birthday. Yes. And we happened to run into some members, mm -hmm. some old, old members. members that act like they didn't know each other yeah. in the past, and and they were like hiding out, mm -hmm. trying to act like, and they, they they wouldn't come in, they wouldn't see us, but then they got together you know this is the, and these were people that were in cahoots with one another yes. having left the church yes. and undermined us and did all uh -huh. and when i saw them mm -hmm. something in my heart just broke. like it broke yes. i was hurt i yes. was quiet i was and so me and lady t we were riding mm -hmm. and we happened to ride by the church i said let's go in the church when we went in the church I went to the altar, mm -hmm. me and Lady T, and yes. I had to go to God and say, God, mm, I, I need to be honest. Lord, mm -hmm. I'm hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm broken. I thought I was over this. I thought I had forgiven. I thought, you know, I preached, prayed, you know, dealt with folk, yes. but it was still a contentious issue in my heart. Yes. And it was at that moment, beloved, mm. that I went before God and really released the offense and really, and, and now I'll I'll go I'll go out of town to go find the person that that maybe thought that I've offended mm -hmm. them even mm -hmm. in my preaching because y'all most of y'all that know me I was a hard cookie <laughs> so I went to people and said listen I preached this a long time ago and I and it hurt you and I'm sorry please forgive me yes whatever it takes to be free mm -hmm. be free be free don't carry people in your heart be don't free. carry the weight be free there's too much life yes. ahead of you we got too much to do. Come That's on. what I was telling my husband this morning. After after I did the you know the um, good things with Lady T, I was just like, "Babe, we got too much ministry to do to be bound and and bound with people's opinions and and you know the guilt of the past and all of that stuff to be weighted down on us. We got too much to do, and I refuse to let somebody hold me captive. I refuse. Amen. I refuse to do it. Amen. I just can't do it. Amen. I can't do it. I can't do it. So the truth of the matter is, hey, Bishop Rose, good to see you, man. You know, so whether they apologize, whether yeah. they... And, and, and listen, baby. They may never. They may never. Apologize. That's what I was getting That's to the say. Thing. They may never ever see that they yes. did wrong. Yeah. Some people are so blindsided, you know, or they're so self-absorbed mm -hmm. they can't ever yeah. see that they were the ones that was wrong. And I'm telling you, through this pandemic, guys, we've been losing people left and right. And who's to say that you're not next, or we're Amen. not? You know what I'm saying? We don't know. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? You, you're going to die like that. You already, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're already sick and whatever, but you, then you got all that weight on you and all that weight on your heart. Man, like I said, it feels so good to be free. It feels so good. And understand, this is a warning from God's word. Yes. He said this, if you don't forgive mm -hmm. your brothers and sisters That's it. of their trespasses yes. against you, 
Yes. Neither will your Father in heaven forgive, forgive you. you. Mm -hmm. I believe that salvation is until Jesus comes. Right. But one of the warnings he gave us that if you are an unforgiving person, if you hold offenses, and listen to me. I'm not talking about what you say with your mouth. Yes. I'm talking about what's really in your heart. Mm -hmm. If you don't forgive, you will not be forgiven. Mm -hmm. So forget about making heaven your home if you're an unforgiving person. I don't care if you go, he can, nah, 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 nah. Paul said, if I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not love, mm -hmm. I'm just a sounding brass and you're just making a lot of noise. And it's like this that people don't understand is what's in your heart, it reflects and how you how you treat a person, how you handle that person. Yep. It reflects. You can't hide that. Unforgiveness, hide unforgiveness and jealousy mm -hmm. leaves it, it, clues. Woo. Don't I'm going to tell you something. Don't it do? Unforgiveness and jealousy yeah. leaves clues. Yeah. And let, let me guys, let me tell you guys, and that's why I said when we was going through what we was going through, uh, you know, back in the day or whatever, people had the nerve to say, well, she jealous of me. Me, personally, I ain't got time to be jealous of nobody. I got, I'm tending to me and my house. I got 11 kids. My focus is on my house. I ain't got no time for nothing else. Like, really, I don't have, my mind is just, I mean, I'm telling you, I don't have time to be jealous of nobody <laughs> i really don't so it's like in this oh yeah, maybe, maybe, like, maybe maybe if like, she had maybe if she had the time she might could be jealous right. but she don't, she don't, don't have, have the time, time, she don't have the time. so Man. you know god Ooh. made it where we were so busy yeah i stay busy so much it's like ew. so guys if there's anything get it straight with people mm -hmm. let's let's be real let's not let's not go to church and shout and miss heaven yes you hear what i'm saying let's not go to church and shout and miss heaven. Mm -hmm. Let's not go to church and roll on the floor and miss heaven being a hypocrite. You, did, you, did you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Bible said that the hypocrites are going to have their part in the lake of fire, along with the liars and the drunkards and, and, and those that abuse themselves with mankind. And, you know, the Bible says all unrighteousness, he says, is going to have its part in the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. So people that hypocrite and try to act like they nice and they with you and in their heart, they going to hell. Mm -hmm. That, 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 I mean, and I didn't say it. The word of God said it. Pastor Scott ain't sending nobody to hell, mm -hmm. but you're going to send yourself to hell by being a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. I'd rather you be real than to be a hypocrite. Yes. Be real. I'll never forget this. We were in we were in Durham and we were having a good time and the power of God was mm -hmm. moving and then, then there was some folk doing some extra stuff that didn't need to do. Mm -hmm. And Ella Edro Hall got up and he preached wow. this man. He, look, he, it's like he poured water well, all over hypocrite. everything. He said, don't let the devil turn you into a hypocrite. A hypocrite. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what I want to tell y'all today. Don't let Satan make you a hypocrite. Yes. If you got something against your brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. get it straight. Get it straight. Don't act like you yes. straight. Yes. Get it straight. Yep. Don't be a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Be real. Be real. Yep. That's what they taught us growing up, Lady T. That's what they, they made sure. Be real. Real, yep. be real. If you see me and there's something you feel right, a way about, I don't, it, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want you to carry me in your heart. No, be I don't. real. I'm a big yeah, boy. I yeah. can handle it. I don't. No. Because trust and believe me, mm -hmm. if I'm thinking a way about you, mm -hmm. I'm coming to you. Yes, yes. I'm listen. Yes. That, that's maturity. Yes. That's, that's maturity. Mm -hmm. Maturity is not being able to call names and that's addresses. Right, right. Maturity is being being able to control your spirit mm -hmm. enough to say, you know what? Mm -hmm. I need to get this straight. Mm -hmm. Let's be real, children. Be real and be free. And be, be free. Ooh, say that again. Be, be real, real and be free. Be, be real, real and, and be free. Somebody type that in there. Mm -hmm. Be real mm -hmm. and be free. Be real and be free. Mm -hmm. So we're going forward with mm -hmm. the Lord. And we just wanted to talk about this. We hope that maybe this has blessed somebody and helped somybody. Yes. You know, um, um, and, and walking in forgiveness. Yes. Learn how to forgive. Mm -hmm. If you got, if, if 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 you and your parents are at odds with one another, forgive. Mm -hmm. If you and your children, forgive. Mm -hmm. If you got siblings that you're not really close to, let's forgive. Yep. Come on, and somebody. Even with, when you talk about the parent thing, a lot of times, parents a lot of times they're not given a manual to be a parent. No, they don't. Not. Sometimes they don't know how. You know what I'm saying? And they just give you everything that they have. Right. They're surviving. They're yeah, just surviving. They're, yeah. They just give you everything that they, that they know to do. So sometimes. Like you said, let them go. You know what I'm saying? Extend, extend grace yes. to people. Yes. Extend, and, and I'll say this. The same way you would want somebody to there you go. Uh, uh, forgive you forgive or you. extend mm -hmm. grace to you, extend you grace to. to other people. Correct. And if you live a life of extend, and I'll tell you this, 
if you learn how to extend grace to people and think the better mm -hmm. rather than the worse, you won't be offended as much. Yes. You won't be offended as much. If you learn how to just, you know, cut them some slack, let God do it. Let God, cause, cause at the end of the day, I'll say this, we can't change mm -hmm. nobody. Mm -hmm. There is no one that we can change. Mm -hmm. In fact, God has not told us to change people. He told us to be a light to people. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of the day, only God can change people's hearts. You're yes. not responsible for changing their hearts, yes. but you are responsible for being a light. And so you be a light. And you know, sometimes we ourselves can hold our own selves up sometimes. Could no, it be that sometimes things are not going in your favor or working out in your favor because God told you, he told you, he, he personally came and told you, well, I need you to forgive. I need you to do this and I need mm. you to do that. But you, you're not, you're not willing to do that. So did he, he holding that up because he know that that's, this right here is, is blocking you from getting oh my God. what he has for you. That's deep. So let it go. That's, that's a in revelation. Order to, in order for you to go here. You got to let that go. Some of you want a house. Mm -hmm. Some of you want, you, you're talking about new. Yes. And, and you want new. Yes. But God is talking about your heart. Yes. Forgiveness. Uh -huh. So it's important. Mm -hmm. It's important to forgive. You, you know, some people, they have died of sicknesses mm -hmm. because they did not forgive. My God. God will heal you if you forgive. My God. God will turn the whole situation around mm. if you forgive. Let's pray right quick and then we're going to let you go. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you. Yes, sir. We thank you, Lord, for Lady Scott and her desire to just really uh, speak to our hearts today. Thank you for using her as a yielded vessel before you. Father, there are so many that are watching this live here today, yes, Lord, that, that, that are involved in this thing of forgiveness or maybe even going through a situation where they need to forgive yes, God. let this word that we have spoken today yes, lord be like a seed planted in the soil of their heart yes, God. let it grow mm -hmm. let it fester yes, we uproot Jesus. every root of bitterness in the name of jesus, you, jesus. we come against every satanic plot yes, every God. satanic plan you, to jesus. keep these folks in the oh yes, glory God. to keep God. them in the will in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, oh God, we speak to the heart today, Lord. And we pray healing over their hearts and over their minds and over their thank souls. You, we say thank you yes, God. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We love you with the love of God. God bless you. Until Peace. next time. Thank y'all for watching.